Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to finally be completing the series of my declutter and collection videos and I'm going to be showing you guys all of my eyeshadow palettes, letting you know what I'm keeping and what I'm letting go. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I am just a creative lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun and colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot of indie makeup so if that is what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. But with that being said, let's get into this video. <music> All right, guys, it is time to go through my eyeshadow palette collection. I have a lot of palettes, so I know this video is going to be very long. So if you want to be here for the whole ride, definitely grab a snack and get comfortable. We're going to be here for a while because I know I have a lot to show you. And this is the one section of my makeup collection that I really want to be savage. Like I need to let some things go. There's a lot of palettes that I'm not using. And because I do so much reviews, I bring in a lot of new things. A lot of the older things tend to get neglected or I find like better options and then I forget about those and there's no reason to be keeping palettes to just collect dust so I will most likely give palettes away to friends families co-workers and all that if they want it if they're still good enough to give away I will also donate it if I can't find anyone to give them to and if they're like super old I'll just trash them so please do not ask me to send you any palettes because I'm not going to do that time consuming it's costly and I just feel weird sending makeup to people I don't know also please please do not take it personal if I let something go that you really love or hold on to something you really hate this is all based on my personal preference when it comes to makeup so we can be friends here we don't necessarily have to have the same likes when it comes to makeup also before I jump into everything if you're curious about this eye look which is so fierce I love it so much I did create it with the lower palette and the trove palette from blend bunny so that video is probably already posted I'll link it below I'll put it up in the corner you can check it out for yourself but that was basically it so I think we should now dive into this collection slash declutter so let's get into this video I have so many palettes here i know you can't see them all on the screen but my whole desk is covered with eyeshadow palettes and i organize them by brand i felt like that was the easiest way to do this collection declutter so let's start off with color pop because i know there's palettes i want to let go in this group right here for sure these two i talked about these in my ranking of all the palettes i tried in 2022 and these were both at the bottom i think the quality is terrible on these very chalky lacking pigment the shimmers are very lackluster so i'm gonna get rid of these these are the worst palettes i ever tried from ColourPop. then i have the baroque palette which i love this look at the packaging it's stunning and then i love these kind of tones it's kind of gray a little reddish likeness to the tones in here as well so this one's definitely staying i need to use this more then i have the blue moon palette which i actually really love this one i think it's a really good blue palette it's like true blues i think it's beautiful well done so keeping then i have the smoke show palette which i'm kind of on the fence because i have a lot of gray smoky palettes so i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this one but for now it's going to go on my keep side because i do love these tones it's a maybe on this one then i have the just my luck palette which i love this beautiful greens high quality palette too i love these kind of tones so i'm gonna keep and then i have the ooh la la palette which i'm gonna let this one go it's a very light pink palette and i have a lot of these tones i have so many pink like berry palettes in my collection now so i don't need to keep this i never use it i have the aha honey palette i talked about this in a video where i was like would i repurchase and i picked random palettes and i definitely wouldn't it's actually way too light for my liking and i have a lot of beautiful yellows in my collection so i don't need to hold on to this one anymore i also have the lilac you a lot palette which i'm actually gonna let this one go to it's it's pretty light and i have a lot of purple tones and lavenders and colors like this so i can let this one go I have the Minty B palette, which I think I'm gonna part ways with this one. I have so many tones like this in my collection and other palettes. And I think like I have a mint one from Juvia's Place. So I don't think I need to keep this one because honestly, I never reach for this one either. I have the It's My Pleasure palette, which I think I wanna hold on to this one. I really like the tones in here. 
and purples and berries, even though I have a lot of these. Well, let, let's put this in the maybe category. Then I have this one from the Tinkerbell collection. I love this palette. It's one of my favorites from ColourPop. So definitely keeping, I thought the quality was really good in this. I like the tones, it's beautiful. The packaging goes right there. Here's one of my other favorite palettes from ColourPop, the Lush Life one. Beautiful, colorful, bright, but you got nudie shades in here too. You got depth overall. It's a gorgeous palette, some keeping. Then I have this one too. I think I'm gonna keep for sure. This is the All That palette, full of like ready tones, some lighter pinks, very Valentine's Day. I mean, there is one glitter in here, but all the other ones I think is pretty, especially this infatuation shade. So keeping this one for now. And I have the At For Sight. This was the collab with Raw Beauty Christie, another favorite of mine. I love these muted tones in here. The quality was excellent, some keeping. And then this is an OG, one of my most favorite ColourPop palettes that have ever come out. I wish they never discontinued this. I think it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful fall color story. I recently used this in a shop, my stash. I still love it, so I'm gonna keep. Then I have some of the bigger palettes. Like this one I just got. I used it a couple of times on my channel. I can link those videos below. Well, I'll try to link as many videos as I can. But this one, I'm still trying to figure out my thoughts on it. So far, I really like the mattes. I'm on the fence about some of the metallics, but I do love this color story. I love cool tones, so I'm gonna hold on to this one and keep testing it out. I'm not ready to let it go. It's really new to my collection. And then the So Jaded palette another favorite of mine. I've traveled with this. It has like fond memories attached to it. I used this when I first went to Europe as my only palette and I still really love it. I love the mix of the different formulas in here and I think Kathleen Lights did a beautiful job. I think this is my favorite collab that she did with ColourPop. So I'm still holding on to this. It's like nostalgic for me. So I shifted some palettes over as I make space, more things will come into view. But let's start off with this pile right here. These are my two Game Beauty palettes that I have. You know, I don't know. I think I might, I think I'm gonna let these go. It wasn't my favorite formula and the mattes were on the sheer side. The metallics weren't that impressive. I love the packaging on these. I just don't love the formula. Hopefully they'll improve it. I don't know if their newer palettes have improved, but so far I wasn't the biggest fan of these. So I'm actually gonna let them go, even though they're so pretty to look at. I love the theme of Game Beauty. I'm rooting for them. So hopefully in the future I can try some other stuff and maybe like it better. Then I have these from Sigma. I have the Alice in Wonderland palette. This is pretty new to my collection. I think it's a really nice one, good quality keeping. Also the Cinderella palette. I'm gonna keep this one too from Sigma. Also muted color story, but I still think it's really beautiful. As well as this one right here, which is my favorite one from Sigma. This is the Untamed palette. It's like a fall dream. I love the tones in this one. So I'm just gonna keep all my Sigma palettes because they're all really, really good. So I have the Smoke Section palette, which I'm on the fence. I feel like maybe I should let this one go. It only has two mattes, which is the favorite formula of mine from Mel. And the metallics are okay. This one has a really bad hard pan. And I have a lot of green tones in my collection. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Maybe. We'll come back to this one. Now going on to the She's in Parties palette from Mel. I love this one. Beautiful, so I'm keeping. I also have the Blueprint palette. I love this one as well. I'm keeping. This is my one of my favorites from Mel, the Murete palette. I'm gonna keep this one forever. It has so many beautiful mattes. I have the two Gemini palettes, which I think I'm gonna keep these. They're still pretty new to my collection. And I think the tones are beautiful in both. I for sure love the Gemini one more, the first one, because all the grungy tones, but they're both still really beautiful, so I'm gonna keep. And then this is probably like my second favorite palette from Mel. This is the a more e Mariposa palette. Love the packaging. I love the shades. I love this bigger setup, and I hope they make bigger palettes like this in the future, because I like this. So let's go into this pile right here. This is my Lunar Beauty little pile I have here. This is the 12 Days of Lunar. 
I really like this even though it wasn't the color story I was expecting. Quality is amazing in here, so I'm gonna keep. I'm also gonna keep my uh, uh, Lunar Eclipse, or no, sorry, Eternal Eclipse. This is my favorite from Lunar Beauty. And then I also will keep this one as well, the Lunar Moon Spell Volume 2. I just love this packaging and I, I love these tones. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I really like Lunar Beauty as a brand. Now my Beauty Bay palettes, these are so affordable. I love the monochromatic palettes from Beauty Bay, but this is Earthy, one of my favorite green palettes. So of course I'm keeping, as well as the Midnight palette, I'm keeping all of these. They're really pretty. The, the berries one too is gorgeous. Now this wilderness palette wasn't my favorite. A lot of people love it. I didn't really love the mattes, but I think the metallics are really pretty. I'm just unsure about the darker mattes, but I'm going to hold on to it and try to make it work more. I know a lot of people love this, so maybe I need to try different techniques. Maybe that's what it is. And then I have these from ABH. I have the Jackie Ina palette. This one is stunning the best palette i think abh has come out with so i'm gonna for sure keep this and i'm gonna keep all my other abh palettes as well i love these bigger ones even though some people weren't a fan of like these really big palettes this is the norvina collection what is this is this volume one i can't remember but full of beautiful purples a little bit of grungy tones this is gorgeous and then i have the other one which maybe this is volume two sorry they're a little hard to open but this one has all these beautiful green tones. Love this so much. So these are all staying. So here are my Dose of Color palettes. I love both of these. Cutting Edge, right? Gorgeous, grungy dream. Then I have the Smoky Saray. This one has like grayish cool tones in it. And since I'm keeping this one and there's some other cool tone like gray ones that I'm gonna keep that I haven't showed you guys yet. So I'm gonna let the Smoke Show one go. I think I'm okay with letting this one go it was in the maybe pile but i'm gonna declutter this then uh, we have my glaminatrix palette none of these are going but i'll show you them this is the silent night palette stunning the sandra rose palette <sighs> this is one of my favorites then here's the you beauty palette i mean their formula is so good both in mattes and metallics that beautiful shifting multi-chromes here's the nearly natural if you're a uh, like nudie lover you'd probably really love that one here is the nocturnal one which is one of my favorites because it's like a really grungy palette very very beautiful tones here's the glamorous one i think this is my newest one also really beautiful so all of these are definitely staying now i have a bunch of menagerie palettes i'm keeping all of these here's the pastel pop really good pastel palette here's the serenity palette this was the collab with annette's makeup corner of one brooklyn shade but the tones that she picked are so gorgeous i have the sugar high palette i love this one as well these are like my newest ones from Menagerie Claws. So cute, I love the theme. And then Paws, which is so beautiful with the greens. And then I have Indigo Ink, which is such a unique color story. I feel like this didn't get enough love on social media. It's really good. And then the Well Song palette, which I've only used one time. It's full of beautiful greens and blues, so keeping this one. Getting into this pile in the center, I have all of these palettes from Pure. This was their Trolls collab when they did the Trolls movie. I actually use these all the time. I use this like three times in like one week for work because it's so easy. So I'm gonna keep them all. I love them. I think they're so underrated. The formula is so nice in these. This is the techno one, the funk one. It was like after, you know, different genres of music. The pop one. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't need that ooh la la palette from ColourPop. And then I also have this other gray smoky one, so. This one is the rock, so these are these are so cute. I'm never letting those go. Then I have my shroud ones. I'm keeping both of these. These are a collab with Batty Bean, both of them. This one is the It's Frickin' Bats, and then the Hello Bean. Here are all my It's Bell Cosmetics palettes. This one is their newest one, which is available now. I did a whole video on this. This is such a good all matte palette. It goes so well with like the Fruity Realm pigments or an all shimmer palette. It's so fun and bright. I love this one. This is my favorite one from It's Bell, the Break the Rules palette. This is when I first fell in love with the brand. Metallic formula is bomb in here. Here's the Flare palette if you're looking for lighter tones and 
kind of like pastel tones also beautiful and then here's a nice beautiful like fall grungy color story this one is beautiful as well and then they came out with a bigger palette that has mattes and shimmers this is a cool summer one i love this one so much this was ranked pretty high on my ranking for 2022 palettes so these aren't going anywhere at all okay i moved some things around again so in the center i have my colored rain palette this is pretty chic love this is wealthy chic i love these little six pen palettes and then the juicy boost one which i actually love this and i heard a lot of people not liking this one i don't know why but i thought it was absolutely stunning it has like two sides it's like a little book so these are all staying now these are my violet voss palettes i'm for sure keeping the sugar crystals one one of my favorite like lighter palettes. I love the metallics in here. I use this all the time to pair with other palettes. So I'm going to keep, but I think I'm going to finally let this one go. I held on to it so long because of the packaging. I'm a sucker for this. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll display this as more of like a beautiful picture, but I don't use this palette anymore. Like I haven't used this in a long time. So I'm going to let this go. It's so cute though. Now getting into these two palettes. This is uh, from Kylab. They used to be Musee, but they're actually closing shop up, which I'm so sad. I thought this was so good. This is the Impressionism palette. It's really beautiful. And then here's the Rococo one, which I also thought was really pretty with the pastels. I'm going to keep both of these because the quality is really good in these, even though the brand is um, going to go out of business. But they were really gorgeous. I love the packaging too. Now I have these two from Dominique Cosmetics. I'm keeping both of these. I love them. This is Rustic Glam. And then I have the Berries, right? Berries and Cream. Stunning. Down here I have Cindy Grace palettes. And I think I'm going to let one go in this category. So I have the... Uh, which one is this? This is the On the Horizon. This was the collab with Temptalia. This is my favorite one out of the collab, so I'm going to keep. Then I also have the Radiant Reflection. I think this is my second favorite in the collab. And then there was the, is it Quintessence? This one is not my favorite, so this is the one I'm going to let go. And then I have the Tiny Marvels palette the collab with Mel Thompson. Rest in peace, Mel. This was a beautiful palette and gorgeous, so I'm gonna probably keep this one forever. And then I have the collab that they did with the Fancy Face. This is pretty new to my collection. Adore this one as well, the Tropicolor one. This is so pretty. So this one is staying as well. Now we're getting into my Natasha Nona pile here, which I think I'm gonna let something go in this category. I already gave away my sunset or sunrise palette to Casey's mom. Um, but I know that there's one for sure I'm gonna let go. So I have this one. This is a cool tone palette. This is the Ayana palette. <sighs> I love this one, but I don't need to keep this. I have so many cool tone nudie palettes in my collection. So I'm gonna let this go. I have the pastel palette. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. I don't know why, even though this was like really low on my ranking, but it's still new and I still wanna try to get some use out of it. So holding on to that. The retro palette is beautiful, gorgeous berry palette. Then the love palette, which is also really beautiful, gorgeous for Valentine's Day. Tropicolor, this is their first time they had like multi-chromes in here. I like the tones, keeping the circle local one, which is one of my favorites. So bright and colorful, there's so much depth. Then I have the Lila palette, and this one is the one I had a hard time parting ways with, but I never use it, and I need to finally let it go because it's not my favorite formula. I was holding on to it because of how much I spent for it. And it was like when I first started trying as a brand, but I need to finally let it go. It's been taking up space for too long and I'm holding on to it for the wrong reasons. Then I have the Metropolis palette, which I think this is my most favorite. Natasha Denona palette, so many good, good colors in there. And then this is like probably my second favorite, the gold palette, this one. <sighs> golds right here these beautiful gold this one has a green shift it has some nudie tones so i'm keeping this one now let's get into my lethal palettes this is one i haven't used yet or featured on my channel yet it was a palette i kind of customized they came out with the set color story for the holidays and then i changed some of the shades out this is so pretty i need to use this in a video i also have the two lethal palettes that were collabs with teresa's dad here's the lethal is dead one 
This is beautiful, as well as the Teresa's Leaf, though. I think this one is my favorite out of the two. But these are all staying. And then I have the Night Flower Palette, which is another favorite of mine from Lethal. Beautiful tones. So I'm going to keep, as well as the One Up Palette. <sighs> so pretty. I love the theme. And then this is the Berlin 89 Palette. Wasn't my favorite one, so I'm actually going to let this one go. I just, I don't feel inspired by it. I thought the formula was just okay. So I need to part ways. And then I have the, I think this is the Velvet Dust Palette gonna keep this one i love this and then i also i'm gonna keep this one the after dark fun and bright and colorful so keeping and then here are my blend bunny palettes i'm keeping all of these blend bunny is an amazing brand here's the troll palette which is the new multi-chrome palette they made and then the lore palette which is also their newest palette in their collection these tones these tones are everything then the primal palette which has a bunch of like primary colors it's the rainbow palette i have the blends palette i haven't used this one yet i got it during black friday this is the all matte palette this is the one like everybody loves so i need to play with that then i have the all done up palette their take on a more nudie palette with some grungy tones as well as the surge palette this one is fun one of my favorites it has like neons and bright colors in here some muted tones and then the doll house palette which is another favorite of mine which is a more nudie muted color story gorgeous let's get into a dubious place i know an area where i could let some things go so i have the nubian glow this is a orangey one i have a lot of these shades so this one's gonna go i have the nubian royal which i think i'm gonna keep this one for now i like this one so put it in the keep side i have the chocolates palette it's such a beautiful chocolatey tone palette so i'm keeping i have the rebel gray this one, I'm going to let go because I have a lot of grays. So I've been keeping a lot of grayish palettes, so that one can go. I have the uh, Disco Party palette. This is the collab with Fumi. I'm going to keep this because I love the blues in here. I don't know why I'm holding on to that one. I have the mints, which, like I said, I told you I had mints in my collection. And I'm going to keep this one since I let go of the one from ColourPop. I have the Rebel palette, which I love these greens, so keeping I have the sweet pinks. This is so fun and vibrant. The mauves. I think I'm going to let this one go. I have a lot of palettes that look like this. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm also going to... I think I'm going to let go of the honey palette. Even though I like these tones. But I have a lot of this. So this is going to go. I have the Allure 1. This one's one of my favorites. So keeping... I have the Allure 2. I think I'm going to let this one go. I never use this one. I have the I Live I Love Ice. I think I'm going to let this one go too. And then I also have the Allure 2, which has the blues. Which, because of this, do I really need to keep this one? Because I'm going to keep the Allure 2. You know what? I'm going to let this one go. I'm going to finally let it go and keep this one instead. I have the I Live I Love. I'm going to let this one go too. I never think to use it. Then I have the Berries palette, which I have this a lot. So this one's going to go. I, I need to let it go. And then I have the Violets palette. I'm on the fence. This is a maybe. Then I have the Nomad one. Definitely keeping this one. I like the tones in this one. I just used this like a few days ago. Then I have the Deuce palette, which I'm going to finally let go. I haven't used it in a long time. And I, I think I have a lot of stuff like this already, so I'm gonna let this one go. Then I have the Nubian Coral one, which honestly I haven't used this in a really long time. I just thought it was kind of unique, but I think I'm ready to let this one go. Then I have the Tribe palette. This is one of my favorite ones. I think they discontinued this one. This is so good, one of the best. I'm keeping the Saharan 2 is another one that I love. I like the tones in here. So I'm going to hold on to this one. I have the Warrior 3. This is a new one that I got. I, I love that it's so colorful. So I'm going to keep. Then I have the Festival palette, which this one is so good, especially this matte red. So I'm going to keep. Then I have the Wahala 2 palette, which is another favorite of mine. Um, it's full of a lot of good colors, a lot of different formulas. There's some like shifty ones in here too. So this is staying. 
I think I was supposed to declutter this one from the last declutter and somehow it's still in my collection. This is a Nubian too. Gonna let this one go. And then I have the Culture palette, which I still am playing with it. It's pretty new to my collection. So I, I wanna hold on to this one a little longer. And then circling back to the Violets palette, I'm gonna let this go. Honestly, I haven't used it at all in like over a year. So why am I gonna hold on to this? Before we move on, I think I'm actually gonna let this Juvia's Place one go. I was gonna keep it, but I have a lot of chocolatey palettes, especially from Glam Light, so I don't need to keep this one. And I haven't used this in over a year, so this one's gonna go as well. Now going on to Glam Light, I have this, I think it's just the pie palette, the cherry pie palette. <sighs> Honestly, guys, I don't think I need this one, even though I think it's cute. Um, I think I'm going to let this one go because I have so many palettes that, that look like this and I haven't used this one in a while. Then I have the Street Taco palette, which is one of my favorites from Glam Light, like these greens. Goals right there, so keeping. Then I have this one, the Chocolate Donut one. Here's where I have some chocolatey tones. I actually really love this one. But I might put this in the maybe one. When we get to the other like chocolate martini palette, I'll compare them to see if I need to keep both. Then I have these two Scooby-Doo palettes, which I haven't used these yet. I picked this up during the Black Friday sale, but here is the Ruro Raggy one. And then I have the Creeps and Crawls one, which I need to play with these. <laughs> They're sitting unused. And then I have the Dirty Martini one, another favorite green palette of mine. So this is not going anywhere. I also have the chocolate martini palette, which this is the one I wanted to compare to the chocolate donut palette. I mean, there's similarities. There's a lot of similarities. You know what? I'm gonna let go the chocolate donut palette and I'm gonna keep this one instead. And then I have the margarita palette, which this one's one of my favorite like summery palettes I'm keeping. Here's the icy palette. This has all these blues. Do I need to keep this one? I also have this one too. This is the cherry palette. You know what? I barely have used these, so I'm gonna let both of these go and give them away because I just don't gravitate to them. They're way too monochromatic and a lot of the colors look the same, so I'm gonna finally let these go. This is a regret purchase for sure because I think I used each of these like once. I have the wine palette, another favorite of mine with beautiful purples. So I'm gonna keep this one. I have the Barbie palette. This is also a new one that I picked up during Black Friday. This one is so, so gorgeous. I have to use this. Then I have the cake palette, which is one of my favorite like rainbow palettes. Really good, so for sure keeping. I have the Michaela one, love, not letting this one go. This is the first one that they did together. Then I have the Ice Cream Dream, which is one of my favorite like pastel palettes in my collection, so this is not going anywhere. Then I have the Michaela Pot 2 palette, which I love even more than the first one, because look at these colors. Love my purples, greens, and blues, so this is staying. So we are definitely making some progress here. I'm gonna move my BH Cosmetics ones, because this is where I'm gonna let some things go too. So I have the Loki Love You palette. I've only used this one once, so I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna give it away. There's no point of keeping this one. And look at this one. This is looking like a snack. I haven't even taken off the plastic. And I bought this, I think last year, Black Friday. So I'm gonna put this like in a giveaway pile. I, I'm trying to put things together to do a giveaway eventually on my channel. So maybe I'll do that or I'll give it to a friend. Not sure, but I'm gonna get rid of that one. I have the Cherry on Top palette. This was from their Sweet Shop collection. Adore, this is not going anywhere. All the ones in this collection were so good. Another favorite green palette of mine, the Pistachio one. Then the cotton candy one, which I feel like I haven't played with enough, but it's gorgeous. Then I have the bubblegum palette from the Sweet Shop collection. This is such a beautiful blue palette. And since I'm keeping this one, I think I can let go of this one from Juvia's Place, the Olori 2. I feel like the tones are kind of similar, right? Like I don't need both. So I'm gonna keep the BH one and let this one go. Going on to this one, the Remix Dance one. I love this, so I'm keeping. Then I have the Puerto Rico palette. I've only used this one once, so I'm gonna give it away. This is just not my kind of color story or tones. Not sure why I bought it. I have the Summer and Central Pay. I think I'm gonna let this one go too. I don't use it very often. <laughs> then I have the Trendy in Tokyo one, which had like bright colors. I feel like the formula is just okay on this one. 
so I don't need to keep this. Then I have the beautiful in Barcelona one, which I'm gonna keep. I love these cool tones. Then I have the Lost in Los Angeles one. It's a really good like pastel palette that's on the affordable end. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I have the Love in London palette, which this one is the one that made me fall in love with cool tone nudes. So I'm gonna keep. I have the Paris one. What is this? The Passion of Paris. This is also so amazing. So I'm keeping. Then I have the Smitten in Switzerland one. I think I'm gonna part ways with this one. It's a muted color story and I have a lot of tones like this, especially in my Blend Bunny one. So I'm gonna let this one go because I like the other formulas that I have in my collection better than this one. And then I have the Avocado Toast palette. I love this one. Also a really nice green palette. So keeping this, I have the Blueberry Muffin palette, which is so good as well. So definitely keeping. Then I have all these like little small ones from the gems or like birdstone series that I had. Keeping the emerald one because I think it's really pretty. I love the peridot one. So keeping, I love this one too, the sapphire. Then I have the amethyst one, which I think I'm going to let this one go because I have a lot of this. Then I have the turquoise one. I like this. So I'm keeping, I have the aquamarine. Uh, I think I'm going to let this one go. I have these tones. I have the Garnet one, which I think I'm gonna let this one go. I have really good red palettes in my collection, so I don't need to keep that one. I have the Citrine one. I love this one for like grungy yellows. And then I have this one called Pearl, which is too nudie for me, so I'm gonna let this one go. And then I have the Opal one, which has really pretty pastels. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Then I have the Naughty one from BH. This was their holiday palette from a couple years ago. This one's really good. So I'm gonna hold on to this one as well. We are moving along and nicely. So let's work in this middle pile right here. This is Adept palettes. I'm keeping all of my Adept ones because they're so good. This is House of Ale. This is Co Codan, Codain. This one I have is called Aminet New. Really gorgeous. I have the Nhydrin. Really pretty, Plain Jane, the OG, the Minka palette, beautiful glam one. Sorry I'm not doing swatches in this video, there's just too much and my videos end up being too long when I do swatches. Here's the Heather Austin one, absolutely gorgeous. Then I have my Huda ones that are over here. I might let some things go in here. I have the Emerald Obsessions. This one's my favorite little one from Huda Beauty. Here's the Ruby Obsessions. I like this one a lot. So keeping, here's the Wild Jaguar one. Gorgeous. I have this one, the Coral Obsessions. I think I'm gonna let this one go. Yeah, that one can go. I have the Mauve Obsession, which I'm gonna let this one go too because I have a lot of mauves. Then I have the Topaz Obsession. This one is so cute, so I'm keeping. Then I have this one, the Rose Gold Remastered. Really beautiful, kind of hold on to that one. I have the Desert Dust one. I think this is the one I'm gonna let go. I haven't used this in a really long time and I don't need to hold on to it. And I have a lot of palettes with these colors. So this one's gonna go. I have the Mercury Retrograde one, one of my favorites from Huda Beauty. So keeping, and then I have the new nude one, which I wanna, I wanna hold on to this one still. I'm on the fence, but I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it for now. So let's get into this pile. I think this is my like one-off palettes that I only have maybe like one or two from the brand. So I have the Cosmic Wonder palette from Terra Moon. This is so new, so gorgeous. Keeping, this is the Kelowna one. This was a collab with Emily Violet Marie. An off shimmer palette. I'm gonna keep this because I do like the shimmers in here. Then I have this one from Certify. This is the Affinity 2 palette. I think I'm gonna find part ways with this. I have a lot of green blue palettes and I haven't touched this in a long time. It used to be one of my favorites, but it is old at this point. I think I can part ways. I think I'm gonna let this one go too from Lois Cosmetics, the Meet Me in Midnight palette. Just wasn't my favorite formula, unfortunately. So I'm gonna part ways. Then I have the Spooked palette from Gourmand Girls. It's a collab with Doodles by the Bunny. Definitely keeping this. It's ranked really high in my ranking for 2022 palettes. I have this from Midas, this is the Genesis. This is stunning, so good. Then I also have this one. This is a collab with the Basic B, the Perception palette. Another underrated palette. This is so good. So definitely keeping both of these. Then I have this one. This is the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe. Another one I haven't used in a long time. I can finally let this one go. I've had this for a really long time. Here's my Danessa Myers Transcendence palette. 
one of my favorite all shimmer palettes so this is staying then i have the midwinter dream palette from nc rain cosmetics this was a collab with britney huffman this is stunning so gorgeous very new to my collection holding on to that for sure then i have the celestial garden palette this was the bella butte bar and m jones collab gorgeous so innovative love the cake liners in here then i have the angles of illumination number three from bella butte bar full of beautiful shimmers and then i have this from wicked widow this is the scissor hand palette two so damn good I'm definitely keeping. Then I have this one, which I thought I'd declutter this one. This is the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. I held on to this so long because it was like one of my favorite blue palettes for a while, but I don't need to keep this. I don't support the brand. I have a lot of this already, so it's time to finally let this one go. I also have this one from OBV Beauty. This is a Rainbow Splash Palette. I think I'm gonna finally let this one go. I had this for so long, but I know I have this many times over and I haven't touched this in a while. So this is gonna go. I have these from Sugar Drizzle. This is the uh, butterfly palette, so good, keeping. Then here's the dragonfly one, so good, keeping. And then here's the gnome chrome Halloween palette they did full of really pretty metallic. So these are all staying. I have the beautiful Tati Beauty Volume 1 palette. I'm so sad that Tati Beauty shut down because I love the formula in here. I like the concept, how she set this palette up. So maybe one day in the future they'll reopen and do a more colorful option. That would be so cool because this was so good. Best pressed glitters I've ever tried. And then I have this one from Cosmic Brushes, the Serenity palette. This is a mind-blowing palette. It's so affordable, but so high quality. Love the color story, so I'm gonna keep this. Then I have these palettes right here from Made by Mitchell. These are new to my collection. I have used this one a couple times. This is the Head in the Clouds one. They're so beautiful, and so far I'm liking the formula, especially the mattes. And then this one is the feet on the ground one, which I haven't tried yet. I love the like little case it comes in, but look at all these crunchy tones. Heard really good things about both of these palettes, so I'm gonna hold on to these for now. Then here's my Nomad palette. So I have this one, this is a home for the holiday one. This had all shimmers and like one matte. I'm gonna keep. I have the Fête de Provence palette, love, keeping. I have the, uh, I think this is the Tokyo palette, beautiful pastel palette the america's parks one so good i also have the berlin underground one and i'm gonna let this one go because i never used this one wasn't my favorite formula so this one's gonna go i have the hudson valley one stunning then i have the whistler snow lodge one this is one of my most favorite ones from nomad so this is not going anywhere the iceland one which is so pretty so good keeping then i have the cartagena magica palette i actually am going to let this one go it's just a little too monochromatic, a little too light for me. A lot of the shades look the same, and I know I have this in my collection. So this one's gonna go. Then I have this one. This is the Paradise Islands palette from Nomad. This one was new from last year too. I just think it's overall really light. Some of the colors look similar. It just wasn't my favorite. So I'm actually going to part ways with this one. Here's the Haunted Europe palette. I love this and it's so good, so I'm keeping it. Then I have this one from Nomad. This is the Shanghai, I think, Ying Yang palette. They actually discontinued this one, so I never ended up featuring this on my channel, but a lot of people had an issue with the theme and were offended by it, so they decided to discontinue it for good reasons too. So I am going to keep it though, because I do like this palette and I like to use it off camera a lot, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. I'm actually gonna let this one go from Nomad. This is the Orient Express palette. It's just a little too nudie and I haven't touched it in a while, so I think I should give this one away. Then I have the Monte Verde Cloud Forest palette, which is another favorite of mine. Look at all these beautiful greens. So definitely gonna keep this one. Getting on to the last piles here. So I have Ace Beauty right here, or Ace Beauty. I'm keeping the Envy palette, gorgeous, and the Aura palette. This is their newest two palettes. I have the Tropical Vibes one, Grungy Lover's Dream. I have these that are all from the old formula, which I think I'm gonna let these ones go because I'm going to pick up the new formula, which I prefer than the old formula from them. But this is the Oceanic palette, a stunning color story, Paradise Fallen, the Blossom Passion one, 
And then my favorite one, which is the classical paradise one. All of these, I'm just gonna pick them up. I think today they're having 50% off. So I'm gonna repurchase those and let go of the old formula. I have these from Give Me Glow, Heresy Juicy Olive One. Used it a couple of times, very good. Keeping Vintage Rose. I think I'm gonna keep all of these. So I'm just gonna show you Heresy Christmas Morning. Oh, so cute. The Vivid Rose. This is cute too. I have the Haunted Pumpkin one, which is the newest one from them. The Pastel Dreams, really good pastel palette from them. I just wish their pans weren't so big though. And then the Bad Witch Club palette. Then I have my Unearthy palettes, which I should move over here. I am going to, I'm pretty sure keep all of them, but I'll show you guys. I have the Dead of Night. This one's one of my newest ones. I think I'm gonna do a reel with this. It's so good. My like number one palette from them. This is the Lore. So, so, so good. Then I have these from the Halloween collection that they did. So strange. I love all of these. Here is the Weirdos one. Nice little muted color story. Here's the Fall Magic one. Another favorite of mine from Unearthy. This is so pretty so gorgeous like this kept selling out so many times on their website here's the strawberry milkshake one. Oh no i didn't know there was a broken shade in here probably because i dropped it because i'm a klutz but i'm keeping here's the poison apple one here is the fairy frolic one nice and muted but so colorful the in the dark palette i have the witching hour one so it's a Halloween one from a couple years ago. Then here is the Capricorn palette. This is an all matte palette. I think the tones in here are so interesting. Then I have the Not Normal palette. And I know you're seeing Alien Cosmetics, but they're Unearthly Cosmetics now. They rebrand it. But this one is beautiful. I have the Rudo Remind palette. This was a collab with Chipotle Gray. Beautiful, colorful palette. Here's the Hauntingly Glamorous palette. This is a collab with Cindy Nicole Adams. Another favorite of mine, the Vitality palette, which has a lot of colors. This is good. The Smells Like Holiday Spirit, which I thought was very underrated. These tones are so pretty. Then here's the Warms My Blood palette. One of my favorite, more nudie palettes in my collection. I also have the Don't Be Jelly, which is all metallics and like shifty shades. The Unearthly, what is this? The Creepy and Crawly one, so cool. The Chilling. The Thirst palette, orange tones. We've got the Surrender palette. This was from their Valentine's Day box that they just came out with. This is so pretty. It's like nudie with like some berry tones. The Volume 2 All I Ever Wanted palette. One of my favorite All Shimmer palettes. I have the Bunnies palette, which is more lighter pastel, very Eastery, so cute. The 1964 palette, the sleepover palette another gorgeous like berry palette this was our valentine's day palette from last year and then the uh, uh leather and lace one their take on a more nudie palette all really pretty now we are ending on Uden's Eye, Kaleidos, and Nabla so let's go through my Uden's Eye. here's the school palette and this one's an all shimmer palette I think I'm gonna let this one go I didn't think I'd let go of my Uden's Eye ones, but I'm not using it, and I know someone else would benefit from that one. Here's the Mini Sky palette. This one I like a lot, so I'm gonna keep. Here's the Oud palette, my favorite little palette they did with all these greens, so gorgeous. Here's the Verdandi palette. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I, I don't use it. You know what, it's okay to let things go, it's okay. Here is the Ocean palette, I like this one. I'm gonna keep. Here is the, I think, is this the forest one? I haven't even touched this, but you know what? I'm holding on to it. I don't care. Here's the Giant Wolves palette. This is a collab with Annette's Makeup Corner. One of my faves. I love the colors that she picked. And then here's the Red Dragon palette, the collab with Judy. So gorgeous. Love the nudie, like, grunge tones in there. Here's the Hummingbird. This was a collab with the Fancy Face. So tropical, so colorful, also a favorite of mine. Here's the Saga Freya palette. This was like a little book that has like nudie shades and then some more nudes with a little bit of pops. I think I'm gonna part ways with this one. I can't believe I'm letting go of any of my Uden's Eye palettes, but 
I don't use it enough. Then I have the chapter two, what is this? The Cat's Breath palette. This one I'm gonna keep because I think the tones are cool in this. Here's the uh, Freya palette. Huh, I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. Even though it's nudie, I wanna hold on to that one. I have the Silmoni two, fave, 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 so good. The Norns one, also fave. <laughs> I love the jewel tones in here. There's the Elva two which this one's like more rainbowy. Then I have the Christmas Eve. This is one of my most favorite palettes. I think this was like number one on my ranking from last year, as well as this one. Maybe this is number two, the Merry Christmas one. Best holiday Christmas launch ever. And then the Hagia palette, which was a collab with Angelica Nikovis, also gorgeous. I love what she picked in here. So that's all it's and then I'm letting these other ones go right here. So last but not least, my Nava and Kaleidos. So let's go through Nava. This one is pretty. Like I said, I have chocolatey tones, so I'm gonna keep. Here is the, I think, is this the berries? Wild Berry. I think I'm gonna let this one go. And the reason why is this shade is all dried out at this point. And I have these tones, which I never thought I would let this one go, but I feel like the formula has dried out and some of the shimmer, so I'm gonna part ways. Shocking. Then I have the Metropolitan one. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Even though it's on the nudie side, I love the formula. It's pretty new to my collection too. This is the Platinum palette. One of my favorites. <sighs> I have to. I swatch this every time I do a, a collection video and show this palette because it's just one of the best silvers in my collection. Here is the Midnight palette. I feel like this was underrated, but I love this quiet storm shade in here, keeping. Here's the coral palette. I love that, so keeping. And then here is the the nude one, which I love this because it's more cool tone nudes. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Then I have the Read My Mind palette from Nabla, which I have two of these. So this one's still in its box. And I got this in the Trend Mood box that they just came out with. I wanted all the other products, so I still picked it up. And I figured I could put this one in a giveaway, but this is what it looks like. So pretty, so nudie. So I don't need two, obviously. So this one's not staying with me, but this one is. Then I have the Dreamy 2, the Mystic palette. This is so beautiful. It's like date night kind of vibes, it's sexy. Then I have the Secret Garden palette, which I feel like I haven't touched enough. So I wanna hold on to this one. And then I have the Side by Side palette, another nudie palette from them, which is also really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that. Now Kaleidos, this is all we have left. I feel like I'm gonna let go of some things in this category. So here's the Sashimi City one. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one, even though it's nudie. I don't know, the formula is really good. So this one's staying, but I'm gonna let go of the Lunar Lavender one. I didn't love the formula in this one. And overall it's light, and I do have this so many times. So I'm gonna let that go. I have the Electric Turquoise one, which I love keeping. I have the Sci-Fi Green one, which I think they discontinued this one, it's so good. Then here's the Cyber Bronze palette. And this one I'm kinda on the fence. Because I know I've kept a lot of palettes like this. And it kind of looks like this one. The Metropolitan one from Nabla. You know what? I'm going to keep the Nabla one. And I'm going to let this one go. It's kind of old. This one's newer in my collection. I have the Futurism Astro Pink. Love that. Keeping. Then I have these two from Kaleidos. This is the, I think, Black Chest, no, Cold Brew. I'm gonna let this one go. I have a lot of this and I don't need to hold on to it. It wasn't my favorite. I don't really love the quads from Kaleidos. I just like having more options. I'm gonna keep this one though. This is the Black Jasmine one. Favorite like smoky gray palette I have. And then I have the, which is this one? The Flowing Haze one. I think I'm gonna, give this one away. It's pretty new, but I just don't love it. And I never think to play with it. Then I also have this one. This is the, is it the glowing iris one? I like these tones. I'm going to keep this one, the flower punk palette, which is a favorite of mine from Kaleidos. So that's stain. Here's the club nebula palette. This was a collab with Angelica Nikovis. This is so good. And then here's the escape pod palette, which I'm going to keep this one as well. I want them to come back with these bigger palettes like this. Just maybe make them a little thinner. I don't think they need to be like this thick, 
But let me get like all the palettes together that I'm keeping and the ones I'm letting go and give you guys a count. So I will do that real quick and I'll be right back. So here's all the things that I am letting go. I went back through everything and I pulled some more stuff to let go because I want it to be a little bit more realistic and savage with myself. So I'll show you guys what I added to the declutter pile. I'm gonna let go of the Thirst palette from Unearthy. I just don't wear oranges very often. I'm gonna let go of the Uden's Eye Ocean palette, another one I don't touch. Decided to let go It's My Pleasure from ColourPop since I have a lot of purple pinky palettes in my collection. The Analog palette from Nabla, I have a lot of chocolatey palettes so I don't need to keep that. I decided to let go of these two little pure palettes even though I didn't want to but I have purple palettes and I prefer the formula and those other purple palettes so why keep it? And then here's the pink one, also have a lot of pink palettes so... I just need to be real <laughs> with myself. I'm also gonna let go of the Opal palette from BH since I have the Lost in Los Angeles one that has pretty pastels. I don't need to keep this. And this was in my maybe pile, but I'm gonna let it go. It's the Smoke Session palette from Melt. It's not my favorite. And I have a lot of good green palettes in my collection. And I decided to let go of the Muse Rococo palette. It's nudie with some pastels, but like I said, I have the Lost in Los Angeles palette that fulfills that need. So I don't need to keep this one either. So in total, I am letting go 78 palettes, which I think is a really good number. I think that's a good amount of stuff to let go. And I feel like these will go to some really good homes and people will get a lot more use than I was getting out of them. And I'm keeping 235 palettes, which seems like a lot, but I do have a makeup channel. I am a makeup lover. I do a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I'm happy with the ones I'm keeping. All of them I really, really love. So I'm good with the amount that I'm keeping and I'm happy with the amount that I'm letting go. But that was everything for this declutter slash collection video. Let me take you guys back to my face so I can wrap up this video. All right, my love. So that was it for this collection slash declutter. I know this video was super long and there was a lot to go over and I had fun filming it, but I'm also quite exhausted from filming it because it's a lot to go through such a big collection, but I needed to do this. I needed to clean out things. I know I was holding on to things that I didn't need and no one needs this much makeup. And I feel like all these palettes that I'm letting go can go to better homes and actually get use, you know, instead of just sitting there taking up space. And I think I was very real with myself this time and letting go of the things that I just don't need to have. And if I don't love it, I don't need to keep it. So I'm very happy with how I did. And I just really enjoyed doing these videos for you guys. I find it fun to watch these kind of videos. So I hope you found my versions fun to watch. But you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you enjoy? Did you not? Are you doing a declutter? Like, what are your thoughts? I would love to hear from all of y'all. And if you're new here and you enjoy this video and you like a lot of fun, colorful makeup content, you like a lot on indie makeup and like declutter videos like this, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I would love to have you here. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I will link other videos of mine you might be interested in watching like my other declutters. I will have my makeup linked in case you're curious what's on my face and my eyes. Like I said, I use these two palettes from Blend Bunny. I'll also link the video of me doing this makeup if you want to see it in action. I will also have my contact, my social media platforms. I'm also on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty. So if you want to get some different content, then please join my Instagram fam. I would really, really love that. Anyways, guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for being here supporting my channel being amazing i just appreciate you guys all so much and i just hope you're all doing well wherever you are in the world and just sending you all so much light and love but until next time bye guys